Hey there guys, so today we're gonna try out how can we craft a fishing LNK file in Windows. So before we get started, this video is just for educational purpose because we want to create an awareness to the public that actually this one is quite malicious actually. So let's check out on the Visual Studio Code, the shortcut properties. As you can see that over here, if you guys are aware that in the shortcut properties, right, that's one thing over here. They call it as a shortcut key. This is this one is a hot key. So every time you are in any windows, you want to spawn the Visual Studio Code, right? You can you can just uh key in the hot key. Like let's make an example. In this case, I want to spawn the Visual Studio Code. I want to use Control Alternate One. Every time I press on the Control Alternate One, right, it will launch my Visual Studio Code by executing on this target, the code.exe. So let's try it out. Open this one, control alternate one. Okay, let's wait for a while for you to spawn out. As you can see that my Visual Studio code just spawned. Because uh, over here right I've set the shortcut key control alternate one. Okay, so uh, how can a track actor they abuse this one? The shortcut the MNK farm hotkey is uh, properties. So let's check it out. I remove this one first. Let's test it out on this one. Okay, the mall.txt. Okay, over here the target, right? We need to set it to Windows System32 CMD.txt because we want to use the CMD shell to execute system command. And then C. So let's say every time, right, uh, when we enter on this shortcut key control alternate one, it will spawn a calculator. So this part right we can put uh, our malicious code like let's say you want to put in something like to spawn a reverse shell or something like this we can just place the command over here but for this educational purpose video right we just use it as a calculator DSE because we want to test it out can it even spawn it so we click on apply control alternate one and as you can see that our calculator has just spawned but if you guys notice that, uh, let me remove this one. We, we want to set it like something like Control C because we want the victim our target. Every time it click, it enter Control C. This key, Control C is a copy key, right, in Windows or in any uh, operating system. So we we want to let the target every time when it enter the Control C this hot key, it will trigger our malicious command. But in that case, if you can see that in the shortcut, right, every time we want to set it to Control C, it will automatically append the alternate into it. So to prevent this from occurring, we need to create our shortcut, uh, our LNK file in a PowerShell environment or in a CMD environment. So go back to here, close this one, we delete this one again. Okay, let's launch our PowerShell. Okay, over here. Here's a command that I've typed already. Okay, so uh, let's explain the commands over here. The first command, right, we will get the target home directory first. Then we want to save the LNK file in the desktop. And then this one, uh, we create the wscript.shell object. And then we create the shortcut by using this uh, directory that we just uh, get just now. And then the target path, right? We're gonna launch the CMD shell with the argument we want to execute the calculator.exe. And then the hot key, which will be the shortcut key. This one, every time when the target they click or they enter control C, right? It will execute this command, uh, this calculator binary. And then the Windows star 7 is minimized. So every time when the target enter on the control C this key it will launch the CMD shell in minimize mode then we save the shortcut and then attribute plus H means that we want to hide this uh, shortcut right in hidden mode so let's try it out we copy this one paste it over here uh, copy this one first again Okay, paste it over here, enter. 
Okay. As you can see that I've just created a shortcut key right over here. So let's try out like control C. Okay. So as you can see that the calculator just spawned out. It means that we just created a LNK file uh, with the hotkey of control C to trigger the LNK file. So how can we deliver this to our target? Let's check it out over here. Okay, we remove this one first. And then let's spawn our PowerShell again. Do that stop. Python http.server we spawn our http server and then copy this link this code and we save it to, to this one ok we save it over here and then over here I've created a a fake invoice actually this is a template for it so we want to persuade our target to view the invoice content right they need to enable the macro content by clicking on this button then we go to here the macro we click on this one the fake uh, invoice.docx so we want to place the macro inside this document we want to name it as auto open create it and then we're going to use this one to ask so what does this command mean actually so we're gonna use invoke web request to get the content that we hosted on our web server and then we wanna get the content only. After we get the content right, we're gonna use PowerShell to execute the commands. So this is what the command means over here. Copy this one first. Uh, we go to here, paste it over here, save it. Okay, I'm gonna click no. Save it as a macro enable document. Okay, we close this. Okay, so now as you can see that I've just created a macro enable document over here. We spawn it over here. Okay, let's check it out over here. So the victim, right? They will check out the invoice document over here and they will read this over here that we need to view the document invoice document, right? We need to enable the macro content. So if be able to persuade the target right they will just click on this one enable content and in the background it will down it will uh, get the content right from my web server and then it will execute it using powershell that's why the the shortcut the lnk file right, will be created over here and set it into hidden mode let's try it out uh, over here to execute control c And as you can see that the calculator has just spawned. So it means that we have just successfully executed the calculator.exe in our target machine by persuading the target to download the PowerShell command and execute it to create a shortcut LNK file. Okay, so that's all for my video. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.